What's going on guys, my name is Cal with Jailbreak Central and today I have a Final Cut Pro X tutorial for you guys. This is how to uh, make your clips look better. Um, just some sort of general stuff that you might not know um, that can help make your clips uh, look more movie ready. Um, so just to start off with this clip here, uh, you can see it's shaky, there's some exposure issues, um, and this is just of some waves crashing against the seawall. I'm going to be showing you the steps that I would take to make this clip look a little bit better. Um, and this is something that you can usually apply to most of the clips that you have. Uh, if you're doing like running gun style uh, video um, or, you know, whatever it is, uh, this can probably help you. So first off, uh, you know, there's some very simple features in Final Cut Pro X um, that you can use to make it look easy without any real work. First off, stabilization. Um, if you're holding your camera handheld at all, it's not on a tripod, I highly recommend this just because it should make it look better. Um, basically, just click on stabilization. Should automatically go through the process um, to stabilize the clip. Um, sometimes there's warping issues, like it'll stabilize it, but it'll do it in a weird way. Basically, you can mess around with the smoothing um, and change it from automatic to inertia cam or smooth cam, and sort of mess around with the settings there. Um, but I mean, for the most part, automatic works pretty well. I haven't seen uh, too many problems with it. Um, but anyway, I'll just show you what the clip looks like now that it has been smoothed. You can see there is still some movement, which is good because I wanted movement in the shot. Um, but it's not overly shaky, um, and it doesn't look like someone is hand-holding it. Um, so that's just sort of a general thing you can do to make uh, the clip look smoother. Next, I'm going to be talking a little bit about color correction. Um, again, in the Effects tab, if you go to Color, and then Correction 1, uh, if you go ahead and select that, and then click this little arrow, it'll bring up your color correction uh, tabs. You have Color, Saturation, and Exposure. Uh, exposure is usually going to be the problem with the clips. Uh, color and saturation should be okay, but uh, exposure you might want to change. So this clip, not you know, it's a little bit overexposed, and it's also a little bit flat. There's not a lot of contrast. So what I like to do um, is bring the shadows down a bit. You can see this is already darkening a lot of the clip, making it look uh, more pronounced, and then uh, brighten the whites um, and that, or the highlights. It's called here, um, and you you hear that tone. You know, crush the blacks. Um, and raise the white. So that's basically what I'm doing. It's very, very general. You can do this for a lot of clips. I wouldn't mess too much with this tab because it really just won't make your clip look that much better. If you have to use this tab, usually that clip is it's too far gone um, and there's not a lot you can do with it in Final Cut Pro. You might have to do something with Photoshop, but uh, that's a different story. Um, so again, I usually just mess around with the shadows and the highlights. Just sort of play around with it until you think the clip uh, looks appropriate. Um, and I'm just going to show you real quick what that looks without it and then with it. So you can see there's a big difference there. Also uh, the color tab. Um, color tab, this is really if you're going for a cinematic feel. Uh, I don't know what type of camera you guys are shooting on, but uh, if you want to make it look a lot like a movie, drag global over to blue um, and you can see that already gives it a certain feel. Um, you know, if you want your movie, it depends on the mood of your movie, of course, or the mood of the film, but uh, you can usually just keep this zero if you have a nice camera that does it for you. Or, you know, if I wanted to make it a little bit brighter, happier, you could drag it up in orange a bit. Um, you can also mess around with these. Not as important as exposure, but again, it's there. Saturation, uh, you guys know, just black and white or overly saturated. Again, another style that you guys can use. Um, and usually this tab just works pretty well, uh, the left one, for oversaturation or undersaturation. Um, just for example, uh, just drag that over a bit. Um, you can see this is already a very different feel from this. Uh, this looks f extremely flat. Uh, it's because I was shooting in neutral, of course. Um, but this looks more cinematic. Um, anyway, so that is color correction and stabilization. And then you can mess around, of course, with uh, crop. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, that's just sort of a couple tips that I use uh, to get my clips looking uh, more movie-ready, I would say, and uh, acceptable in a film. So if you guys enjoy those, again, just very basic tips. If you guys have any other tips that you thought uh, helped you guys and that I didn't mention, feel free to leave those in the comments section. Uh, help someone else out. And I'll see you guys later.